Now that marijuana is legal in Oregon, we've wondered how federal law enforcement will handle it since it's still illegal in the eyes of the federal government. KGW's Pat Dora sat down with the U.S. Attorney for Oregon to ask that very question. Pat? Well, Joe and Tracy, Amanda Marshall said, for the most part, we'll notice very little change. They'll treat legal pot the same way they've treated medical pot. But there are lots of unknowns and perhaps some unintended consequences. As the party began election night at the legalized marijuana campaign, Oregon's U.S. Attorney Amanda Marshall knew she joined a growing club of federal prosecutors nationwide. In fact, one sent her a message. I got an email from him just saying, welcome to the club. Those already in the club know the problems that could follow legalization, especially the tricky issue of banking. Banks are regulated by the federal government and might be taking a big risk if they accept money from pot sales. But there is also danger if they don't for the business owners. What are they going to do with their money? And so, you know, the idea of having a cash business is scary to me because we've already seen uh, growers get raided and robbed and killed, and that's why they have guns. <laughs> and uh, it's very dangerous, and it's a cash business, and that makes it more dangerous. Marshall says her office will make it a priority to go after groups that sell pot to kids or take it across state lines to Idaho or Utah. She said federal agents will also watch the mail. Law enforcement works with both the private and the federal law and, and the U.S. Postal Service to do targeted mail interdictions of both uh, marijuana leaving Oregon and cash proceeds coming back to Oregon. Um, and so we'll continue to do those operations. She said the office will also watch for pot sellers who try to avoid paying taxes or launder their drug money through other businesses. But she said no one will go to prison just because they have pot for personal use. I mean, you just haven't seen anybody go to prison in the state system for possession, simple possession of marijuana. I, I mean, I've been a, I started being a prosecutor in 1995, and, I, and we've never seen it. She also said the new law will force the retirement of most of Oregon's drug-sniffing dogs, since they're trained to alert on something that would now be legal. Some dogs will stay on and work full-time as federal task forces, but most will not. Maybe chase tennis balls instead. Back to you. <laughs> Get to retire. Thank yeah. you so much, Pat.